Well, it's Black History Month, final day. Tomorrow begins Women's History Month, and we wanted to talk to everyday women about how their hairstyle plays a role in the workplace. The women we spoke to say hair is definitely a conversation piece, but some say it can feel like they're being belittled. Channel 3's Casey Freeman tells their story. I had a conversation with four women to learn more about the factors that affect their hairstyle choice. Some wear job standards, ethnicity, and personal preference. We cut it, color it, and sometimes straighten our hair based on a number of different criteria. Christiana Willox works with us at Channel 3. She says her style is based on personal preference, social trends, and expectations. We're most self-conscious about, and honestly, it's my natural state. I never show my naturally brown hair, my naturally curly hair. I try to reflect and, you know, style based on what society tells us. For years, Lori and May straightened her hair to fit into the pageant world. Now she wears her naturally curly hair to beat the stereotypes that come along with African American hair. Mays believes some people have a preconception already made up of what is professional and what is not. Natural hair is looked at as unkept or unprofessional, and I think for things to change, especially for black women in professional settings, we have to be the change. May says she's had women of other races ask about her hair while trying to touch it. She feels that's degrading. Stephanie Durham agrees and says she gets uncomfortable when women ask why she washes her hair every day. Sometimes I have to because of the, the style or the hairspray of the product that I'm using. Mm -hmm. If I don't wash it, yeah. then it won't sit right. Cabrilla Moore wears her natural hair and extensions. She says having an open conversation about hair types can be informative and encourages more women to take time to educate one another. There's a whole wide world out there of women of different shades and tones and hair um, types. So you just can't classify just because you've been in that one neighborhood. All of the women agreed that nothing is wrong with enhancing your natural features, but they do not want to be caged in by society's image. Either way it goes, I'm, I'm still a professional. It doesn't matter if it was better the day before or if it's great today. You know, either, e either way, I am who I am and I still carry myself in a professional manner. All the women agree that our hair says a lot about who we are. It's a great accessory and a conversation starter. They wanted to send a message to everyone to be yourself. In the studio, I'm Casey Freeman, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The lawmakers in New York City have passed a new legal guidance program for employers who ban policies to ban policies that penalize black people based on their natural hair and natural hair styles. This is to protect them from discrimination.